Good Friday morning, folks. I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hopman with today's edition of your weather vlog. Scattered cloud cover so far throughout the day, but before I get into what's going on today, tomorrow, and really the rest of the forecast, let's talk about yesterday. All that rainfall for your Halloween. Rainfall amounts, well, there was quite a bit of it. Precipitation amounts right around an inch and a half in Lafayette. We hit 1.55 inches here at the station. Some parts of the viewing area even saw more than two inches. Morocco just over two inches, 2.03 inches in Morocco. Crawfordsville nearly two and a quarter, 2.23 inches. Covington just under two inches, 1.98 inches yesterday and the night before. Now other parts of the viewing area saw slightly less. Rochester 1.07 inches, Kokomo 1.63. We saw exactly 1.5 on the dot in Peru over the last 48 hours. Now let's get back to today. The same low pressure system that spun the cold front, all that precipitation through yesterday. Well that's what's pulling all the upper level moisture, all that cloud cover into the region as of today. So we're going to continue to see scattered clouds really throughout the day, but as of about 11.30, temperatures are now up to around 50 degrees here here in Lafayette. We're headed for the mid to upper 50s later this afternoon. Altogether, a pretty nice day remains in store for us. Just a windy one. Wind gusts both today as well as tomorrow could top out right around 25 miles per hour. So breezy and slightly cooler than average for this time of the year. 57, that will be your high temperature for Friday. By Saturday, we only warm up to around 49 degrees. Now, if you are headed out the Ross Aid, it's going to feel like fall. It's going to feel like football weather. It's going to be a cool one, to say the least. If you're head of the Ross Aid for the blackout against the Buckeyes, you may want to grab a jacket, a scarf, something warm. It is only going to be 45 degrees at kickoff. Wind gusts right around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Wind chills in the upper 30s, low 40s. It's going to be a cool one, to say the least. At least temperatures do warm up to that 49 degrees by the afternoon. Winds will eventually calm down as we get towards the end of your weekend, beginning of the next work week. We'll warm up to 51 on Sunday. Now, just a reminder before we get to Sunday, remember to set your clocks back. Give yourself an extra hour of sleep for Sunday morning. 2 a.m. is the end of daylight saving time uh, in Indiana. Well, we're pretty much the country so that's good but all together still remember to set your clock back an hour before you go to sleep saturday night you wake up nice and refreshed on sunday 51 your high temperature on sunday we'll hit 56 on monday we even see the 60s make a return to the forecast for tuesday partly cloudy skies that day for our next chance of organized rainfall returns to the region. Scattered showers and thunderstorms expected on Wednesday. 63 degrees, your high temperature. That cold front passing through the region will drop us right back down to 54 for Thursday to wrap up your extended forecast. Now, if you have any questions about this forecast, feel free to email Chad, Amber, and I at weatherteam18 at WLFI.com. My personal email address is Cameron.Hotman at WLFI.com. Remember to follow us on Twitter. Our handle on Twitter is Weather Team 18. You can find me on Facebook, Cameron Hotman, meteorologist. And remember to like the brand spanking new News 18 this morning Facebook page. Everything you can find about news and weather from where you live can be found on that site as well. Until tomorrow, or I shouldn't say tomorrow because I'm not going to have a vlog for Saturday, but Monday I'll be back with your next weather vlog. Until then, folks, I'm News 18 meteorologist Cameron Hotman. Have a great weekend.